Hello coffee lovers, I am Gio, and today is the last day of the 30-day box experience. Today, I am brewing a coffee from Panama. It's a geisha varietal that was processed through an anaerobic natural from the farm called Abu. This farm is located in the Boquete region in Panama and produced by the farmer called Jose Guillermo. This coffee has a nice flavor profile of blueberry, jackfruit, raspberry, and passion fruit. The acidity is similar to a citric acidity and the sweetness is a high intensity sweetness. Overall, the quality of this coffee is something that I personally enjoy and something I personally would compete with. My brewing method for this coffee is a simple V60. First things first, let's heat up our water. So I will use a water temperature of 95 degrees Celsius. And again, I'm using a low PPM water. Um, I am a fan of soft water because it brings out a very delicate flavor profile and characteristics from the coffee. I'll be using 20 grams of coffee and I'll be brewing 300 ml of water. My coffee was pre-ground using a Comandante at 17 clicks. Now this Comandante setting is what I normally use for Panamanian geishas that are processed through an anaerobic process. Now my water is ready. Let's preheat very quick. Let's start brewing. So I'll be using 20 grams of coffee. For my first pour, I'll be brewing it with 60 ml of water. And then after 30 seconds, I'll brew it again with another 60 ml of water. So from here, you can already smell the nice sweet aroma. And another 60 ml of water. So what I normally do is from the side to the center. What I highly recommend is when you brew, you have your gooseneck spout to the dripper as close as possible so that you can agitate the coffee bed properly. Now, at 55 seconds, I'll pour again another 60 ml of water. If you wish to have your coffee with a highlighted sweetness or brightness, feel free to increase your water when you start pouring or your first pour. So from there, the higher volume of water during your first pour, the brighter the coffee gets, especially for these highlighted bright coffees. And after one minute and 30 seconds, I'll pour again my 60 ml of water from the side to the center. And then for my last pour, I'll be pouring it after one minute and 55 seconds. And now two minutes and 10 seconds, I'll be pouring my last pour, 60 ml of coffee from the side to the center. So I poured in the last 60 ml of water. So at two minutes and 52 seconds, I separate my dripper and my vessel. And now it's done. Let's enjoy the aroma. And let's drink a good cup of coffee. Again, the best coffee is a coffee that you prefer and the coffee that suits you personally. This has been Gio and thank you for supporting our 30-day box experience. We are grateful and we are thankful for your support. It keeps us motivated and it drives us to do better in terms of sourcing, roasting, and brewing. For more information, if you have questions about brewing, roasting, green coffee, anything, feel free to message me, to message the Good Cup Coffee Company and ask our team if you want to know more about coffee, our coffee, everyone's coffee. Cheers and don't stop brewing.